Good. So just start with roll through the body. So just starting from the feet, just one foot down in the ground and just rolling the ankle. Just. Nice big rotations. One way and the other. Good. Changing side. Together for the knee. Take <coughs> it away. Good to stretch them back a little bit. Stretch them down. And then just opening them out. The other way. Good. Okay, through the hip. Just rolling. <coughs> Keep the feet down in the ground. Really mobilize the ankle joint and the knees. Moving the hips. Big circles as you can. The other way. Good. And then you're just going to do kind of figure eights with the hips. So just pressing one hip forward, rolling the other back. Again, really mobilizing the ankle and the knees. Good. Okay, shoulders. Starting with forwards, you're going to go up, forward, down, and back. Yeah. You try and mobilize the shoulder joint. Good. Backwards. And just for the head, just more rotation over one way. And then start to really go full range of motion if you can. Use the eyes to look over. Try and see as far as you can around the body. Good. And then go the other way. Start small. As big a motion as you can. <coughs> and just shaking the body out. Here we go to the arms. You're going to really roll the arms out, like resting walls from the side. This way, you're going to internally rotate. This way, and then I want you to reach up all the way through, stretch up, and then release the arms down. So really press them out. This way, rotate them. Yeah, opening the chest out, pressing the shoulder blades together, and then really reach up. And then release it. One more time. Pressing out, rotating the hands, stretching up, reach all the way up, just hold it, and release it. Good. Okay, good. You're going to go to a horse stance, so feet wider, much wider than shoulder width, the toes out of the direction. You're going to really sink the body down, and I want you to keep the back straight. So just sit down here. Bring the hands up here. You can use them in the front. 
we have the feeling the back as if as if you're sitting against a wall. As if the back, the spine is pressing against the wall here. And then what I want you to do from this position is hinge from the knees. This way, so straighten the knees out and then hinge the pelvis. So pressing the pelvis up. Yeah, and then the hands, what I want you to do is raise them, reach them forward. So they follow the same line as the ears. We reach them forward, stretch forward, extend through the knees, hold it, go down to the ground with the hands. Yeah, and then what I want you to do is wiggle the feet together. So just move them together. Nice and slow. Keep the head relaxed. You can reach the palms into the ground. Just hold it. And then really slowly bend in the knees. Just sink back up. Uh, raise back up. Just so that. Let me do it again. Just go wide. So you're going to go first into the horse stance, keeping the back straight. Really sink down into it. Right. Okay, then you're going to straighten the knees, hinge from the pelvis. Stretch in, reaching the hands out. Full extension forward. Full extension in the knees. And then come down into the ground with the hands. And then just start to walk the, hand, the feet together. Hold it a few seconds. If you want, you can also stretch the ankle, bring the hands to the ankle, stretch in back. <clears throat> Release the knees and curl up. Good. One last time. We're trying to also really increase the range of motion as well in this case. So really sinking the hips down, go as far as you can. Good. Extend the knees, stretch and forward. Hold it. Down to the ground with the hands, <clears throat> walking the feet together. Just holding it a little bit, stretch back to the ankles if you want. Release the knees and come back up. Okay, good. We do one more just to just to really hinge the, the whole body. You're gonna stretch up here, you're gonna reach down. In a similar way, yeah, hinge all the way from the pelvis this way. Reach the hands to the ground, and then what I want you to do is hinge the knees, hinge the knees down, and just bring them as close as you can to the ground, and then hinge them up. Hold and rise back up. Yeah, so you're just gonna do this. You're gonna breathe in here, raising the arm, stretch it up, hinge from the pelvis, reach into the ground, and then bending from the knees, just sinking the knees to the ground. Go as far as you can. That way. And then hinge back up. And rise back up. So breathe in. Stretch up. Then pelvis. Hands into the ground. And now see if you can really reach the knees to the ground and stretch the body back. You're really going to hinge the body back with this one. Good. And then come back slowly. Curl up. Good. One last time. Stretching up. In, down. Hands into the ground. And then bending the knees, bringing them to the ground. Just a little bit of time in this position. Also, if you're comfortable here, you can also arc the back up. This way, just really stretch everything out. And then coming back up. Move it through the knees and curl up through the spine. Okay, just shake the whole thing off. Good leg. Good. Okay, take a couple. Okay, so we're going to start with the first three. 
I just wanted to really focus on the breath so that the, we'll go to the third subbury, but it's the kind of the base for the Kimisuku. <clears throat> but what I want to do is really just focus on the on the breath in this case. So we've done a lot of details work in terms of structure and position of the hands and everything. I want you to just focus on the whole body movement. Breath, breath in, and then a breath out. You can play within the within the movement of the body. Just what I want you to do is just really feel that you can really breathe in and really breathe out. So really play with the movement. <clears throat> you can forget about the cut and just cut through. You can just kind of place the sword slowly, or you can do the full cut. But what I'm really interested in is this feeling of the breath leading the movement. So breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out. And just take it at your own pace. Allow the breath to just lead the movement. And breathe however, however you feel comfortable. So in through the nose, out through the mouth, or in through the mouth, out through the mouth. Really do it to your own <clears throat> comfort. That's it. Just play within the, either a cut, a swing, placing the sword. <clears throat> And in this case, in terms of the breath, there's lots of ways to breathe, or as many as there are people. But in terms of this breath, what you want to do is avoid a breath, which is a kind of in, and then an out, like as a kind of, as a release, as a relaxing breath. One that kind of does this to the system. And what I want is a kind of breath which really tightens the body. This kind of way. So I want you to play with, especially the out breath, play with... Um, where we later go to Kiai, what I want you to do is make the out breath, but make it with a kind of um, a sound or a noise. Don't think about Kiai, just think about different kinds of noises, different kinds of um, different kinds of sounds or different kinds of intentions with the breath lead to different kinds of um, uh, effects in the body. So if my feeling in the breath is, huh, this will have a kind of feeling of collapsing the body. So just play with. <clears throat> different kinds of feelings. So in the ex ex exhalation, really feel that the body's kind of tightening, especially in the center. So make the out breath um, audible. It doesn't need to be super audible, but try and try and <clears throat> try and explore different possibilities <laughs> with the noises. This is later where the key I come in. I tend to be vowel sound. We'll, we'll, we'll do this. So this is why Japanese language is great for the ki. But try and really feel that the body tightens. Which isn't tension, it's just the system going into com full compression. Try and use a breath out, which is...
One of the best noises is uh, it's like a it's like a snake just. So if you do this breath out, the, the just the shape of the the the, the um, process of making that sound just tightens the body. So the certain sounds that you make just tighten the body. So the the like a snake makes us that kind of noise just tightens the body. It's a bit like in my in my it's less of a snake. It's like um it's like air escaping from a bike in a in a in a tube. So it's like air escaping from a very a tight hole, a very small hole. So you've got a kind of pressure coming out this way. So just explore also that case. I can do a breath which is like where it just kind of blows out, or I can do a breath which is kind of kind of small and pressure builds up from it. So just play now with a little bit with the breath out that goes through. Good. Very good. Okay, good. So we'll start to work into the third saburi. What you want to do is just place the feet kind of parallel. <clears throat> so you're just going to have them at the side like this. What I want you to really focus on in this case is the, is the movements coming up, the lateral lines of the body. So with the sword here, just in the center of the spine, right down the center of the body. What I want you to do is just feel that you, as you breathe in, the sword is raised. So feel that the breath in sinks the body down and, and lifts the hands. So really from here, just now play with the breath in. Yeah, really feel these lines stretching up as far as you can, and then just really sit down. And do what you need to do with the arms. So I also want you to find the center. Really feel the feet are in the ground, and then start the breath in. And really feel that the breath compressing down into the ground, entering the lungs. Pressing it down into the diaphragm is raising the hands up. And then just release it. Good for you. Okay, what you're gonna do now is do the same. You're gonna take a really deep breath in all the way through. Feel these lines stretch up. And then what you're gonna do, I want you to rotate the body into it. So you're gonna turn the front foot and then I want you to really drop the arms down into the body. You're gonna to come to the back hip this way. And then just release it. So you're gonna really build the tension up. So you're gonna press up, really deep breath in. Get to this point, allow the foot to open and this line of the body to open forward and feel that you're compressing down into the hip and that again releases the arm down. You're going to go right to the back here. Feel really comfortable in the ground. And then just release the breath. So one more time, you're going to breathe in fully. Open the body, compress the breath down, release the whole body, feel the feeling going down, and then release the breath. Okay, one more time. Into the center, stretching, breathing in. Good, just release it. Okay, good. So <clears throat> we're gonna do differently to the Saburi. What I want you to do is start in right side hammy. You're gonna bring the back foot together. So you're gonna bring the back, the feet together like this. Normally in the Saburi, you rotate backwards this way. 
put the Kimasubi no Tachi, you bring the feet together. So when you to kind of basically find the same position you're in, you bring the sword to the spine and then you roll this foot back. So just bring the feet together, sword's center line of the spine here, and then just find the stretching up. Everything goes forward now. So the head, everything's forward, the sword's at the back of the body. And then really slowly, I want you to roll in forward and cut down. Slow out breath. Take a regular breath here. And then start it again. Really breath lead. Start the breath in. Allow the spine and the head at this point to follow the sword. And then coiling the body down. Head comes forward. Sword to the back here, and then really slowly exhale, bring into the cut. Regular breath out, and then again, breath in, compress down, expel out. And then again, and as you do this in your own pace, just start to build the rhythm. The, the key is that I keep the, don't rush the first movement. So the in-breath, this movement, there's a tendency to start to kind of rush this movement. But take this really slow. Oh, don't take it slow, but basically take it with the in-breath. The in-breath is very deep. So you reach the peak, the peak of the sword in the, in the, in the sky. Of the breath and then I compress it down. Take this very slow, don't rush it. And then the cut, you can make explosive now. Keep the first two movements, the raise and the sinking, keep this at a kind of slow pace or deliberate pace. Keep it really deliberate. And then the cut, you can make as explosive as you like. And then that means the out breath is also going to be more explosive. And then you go to key eye work. So just play with this super root <clears throat> in your own time. That's uh, nice. That's it. That's it. Very nice. Okay, good. So when you do the cut, just really make sure there's always a tendency in this case to again rush the cut and in the kind of explosive come into a kind of contraction with the arms in this kind of state. So <clears throat> because we don't find the back in the in the third suburi, really reaching the back, the tendency is to go to this kind of contractive um, movement in the arms in the front. What I want you to do is really focus on the sword raising up. So you've really got this sense, even if slightly exaggerated, the sword really raises, raises and strikes down. So really, really make this slightly more exaggerated so that you can really feel that the shoulder blades open. The sword kind of springs up and then you cut down into it. So really get this sense and don't go to this kind of tight, tight kind of cut. So really open it out, comes down. As you spring forward, it's like the sword springs up. The sword springs up and then travel the body in behind it. Yeah, give it a try. So slightly exaggerate the, the, the point where you cut, where you raise the sword. Really find the center line of the body, but allow the sword, allow the arms to really release up as well. Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Mm. Yeah, you can also slightly delay the movement as well. So if you want to play with this one, you can slightly kind of explode out, explode out, and then bring the cut in. 
So it's almost kind of two movements in this end. So it's like this, but you can also kind of go into kind of slow motion, spring out, and then cut through. So feel that like they kind of, you explode out, and then you suddenly, it's like someone goes slow motion. So you kind of spring out slow, and then press the weight through. Yeah, the key thing to feel in this case is that the breath out is pressing the weight of the body through the sword. That's it. Yeah, that's it. Very good. Very good. Good. Okay, good. So we'll start to work into the <clears throat> partner form. This way. Okay, so we just do the first few movements. So from here, bringing the feet together, rising up into here. In this case, you're going to go off the line this way, right side, cutting down. From here, you're going to thrust from the front foot this way. And then I want you to just come around and cut down. This way. So you're doing a right side cut off, like you would do migioase. You're doing a thrust in off the off the right foot. This is for the throat, so this is quite a high thrust here. And then what I want to do is step from the back leg, and this is a strike to the head. We'll just go that far. So you're gonna go in, bring the feet together, deep breath in, compress, release, thrust high, and then stepping in. Strike for the head that way. Yeah, give it a try. Three moves. Three first moves. <clears throat> yeah, that's it. Uh, so the, the, the first cut, so you step to the right side, then what to do with your feet when you, with the thrust? Yeah, in the case of the thrust, what I'm going to do is kind of hold my position so I'm here. When yeah. I just them kind of straight in. Okay, yeah. In this case, it's a bit like, um, it's not a full throat, it's like a kind of warning. So it's like the sword is, is I'm placing it in the throat to kind of, to, to, to hold the person back. So in that case, it's a bit like a, I cut down and then, it's like a holding the person off with the, with the, with the thrust. And then from here, I travel from the left, to the left side, this way. And go for the head, this way. Thank you. Good. Ah, yes, sir. That's it, Catherine's good. Great. Okay, good. So we're going to practice just from, as if you made the ski, I want you to go into the left side cut to the head. Yeah, now what you're going to do is lower the body and, and use the sword in a way where it's going to shield the body this way. You do this kind of motion. You strike to the head. And here I open the body out this way. The right hand, re the, the left hand releases this way. And I shield the body from the sword. You just imagine there's a sword here. I'm basically covering the body so that it can't return back for a, for a, for a, a cut. And then from here, what I want you to do is really spring out from the feet here and then into the arms this way. Just 
put her head back on. Down, I protect the body. I'm here pressing into the front. So the head releasing down for a, for a covering, and then coiling out. Michael, for this uh, this last movement, do you return to the line again, to the center yeah. line? I'm, I'm so sorry. Just skimp it. Um, if you're in this position, the person yeah. here is going to withdraw, and then what yeah. I have to do is is leave the line. That they come in. What they what they're trying to do is 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 where am I? I'm here. They're trying to retreat and cut yeah. that line. And what I need to do is move out of that line. Move my body so I am just on this line here. So that the yeah. wedge, if they were to cut down, I would just just be off it. So yeah. it's a slight wedge. I'm coming here, and then I just slightly wedge out. Wedge off. Very very. What I'm looking to do is basically control the control the new center line. So I'm looking to kind of come up and really be on the center line of the person that way. That way. Yeah. Thanks. And this is the only Kumitachi that finishes with a control and not a killing cut. Okay, really get a sense with this move. It's quite a tricky movement, so we're not really used to doing it. In this case, try and avoid pushing out and, and kind of pushing out with the arms. <laughs> if, my, if, my, if my feeling in the arms is to push, then the body also gets pulled out from the ground. So what I want to do is really focus on being in this position, the knees very flexible and coiling, coiling through the ground. So keep this, keep this connection here and then coil up through the body this way. But my feeling in this is not to push the person away this way, but it's to get underneath this way. What I'm looking to do is get right underneath the structure here. It means the body needs to be sinking down low. So I really get the sense of this and then coil through the hips. Coil through the hips this way. This is quite a tight move, but I'm not looking in this case to push them away. Just coil underneath and that. Keep going. Yeah, that's it. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Good. Okay, one more point. Also, I want to avoid, in this case, coming up and then pressing the body back to do it. So again, kind of splitting the body. So here and this, kind of stretching back. So if you feel this kind of this kind of motion, what's happening is because the, the weight of the sword and the, 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 the extension in the arms is coming forward enough, what happens, the body tends to try and compensate by pressing back. So what I want you to do is really feel that you coil into the whole movement, is one thing, and try and avoid counterbalancing back just get the feeling that you coil straight up into it the feeling and this is really like an impact it's like a it's like an impact to the wrist later so the feeling is really like to impact the wrist to take that i'm trying to really take the hand out from the sword this way so i really get a sense that the body comes in and then i feel them snapping in so just practice a little bit of kind of delivering a bit of power through it and then you'll feel if i'm in these kind of positions really tight. 
So really look for a movement that's free in the shoulders. So we play a little bit with like delivering a little bit. Yeah, that's yeah. Okay, so we'll just put it together, the whole thing. <clears throat> so from here, you take your time with the first movement, bringing the feet in, taking the breath, sinking down. So you come off to the right side, strike, thrust high, strike for the head, protect the body, and then coil up for the wrist, and then come back. And just run through your whole set. Oh, hey. Okay. Get going. Yeah. Nice. nice. Right. Okay. Super. Any questions on that side? That side of the form? No. Yes. Oh. Um, Go ahead. Roll it. Um, the very in the very first beginning, the movement of the feet. Yeah. Um, now you taught us to bring the. And yeah. Then, yeah. I, I used to do it like this. And I, I thought that you taught me this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. This, in this case, <clears throat> that footwork re is for the suburi. So if we're just doing the third suburi, then the footwork is to, is to slide back, to roll back this way and come. Because we're going to go to the because we got to complete the super patchy. In this case, we're having a So we're blending in together in this case. So this is, this is a one kind of So yeah, that makes so, sense. Yeah. yeah. It, it's just practice in the third suburi. And that's the way you're going to go find, find the ground this way. But in case of the, the Kumitachi, this one, you're going to come to this position. Okay. Thanks. Okay, good. So we go to the attacking role now. What you do is draw the feet up, come up, roll down. Now, in this case, I just travel directly forward, just straight down the line. So like you do in the Saburi this way. And then what I want you to do is raise, and then I want you to step in from the back leg this way. Just that part. So you're going to go like this. You raise. Oh, sorry. I've done it wrong now. You bring the feet together, raise, come down. You strike forward. You raise. This is where the thrust is coming up, and as that's released, I go for the I go for the strike to come through this way. Yeah. So you do one cut straight down the line. Here on the right side, press up with the raise, and then pressing out from the front foot, 
for a strike, straight down. Yeah, you better try. Really attacking you. Uh, in terms of line work, the, the partner seat do this position. I come straight down the line. Yeah, and then if you imagine my partner's wedged off to the to the to my left side. Yeah, so the cut when I raise the cut is to re reorientate my my center line to theirs. So, so when you make this adjustment here, and then my cut is this way here down to the person here. So imagine someone that comes in like a medio essay. I refine them and then I cut for the head that way. So that's the, the line work in this case. Straight down the line, refine the target, and then cut through that way. Go to your left side. The second cut's to your left. Yeah, that's it. Left side, left foot. Yeah, that's it. Left side and left foot. Yeah, that's it. That's it, that's it, that's it. Go. Great. Very nice. Good, 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 good. Great. Nice. Good. And in terms of when you raise the sword, the zombie, right? when you raise the sword for the second cut, try and avoid this this kind of movement. What I don't want it to do in the raise is open the body up. Now I know we do this in the suguri all the time. This this kind of work, really reaching the back and cutting down. This is really suguri work to open the back of the body. So in this case, don't do this kind of work. If I do this in in terms of partner work, what I'm doing is really opening, especially the mouth, and this is really is coming up to the throat and if basically the, the first target is the head and the teeth this is really dangerous in terms of practice so when you cut really have a sense the arms are actually in front of the head so i use the arms in a way to protect the head i also take a little bit of rikemi backwards in this case especially with the head and then cut forward with the body but just be careful don't when you uh, when you raise the sword don't open the bot don't open the center line up in this way this way don't so don't stick the elbows out as you do it keep the elbows Kind of front facing this way. This way. This is true for the last movement as well. Raise, cut down, and have this kind of feeling. This. Way. Yeah. So the arms are also kind of protecting the body in this case. Two more. We get out with this. Good. Okay, good. So the last uh, attack in this case, this position, you go straight down the line, strike in. I raise, cut down on the left side. This is where the, the partner is cut to the head or cut, cut just to the position of the head and then wedged off with the sword this way. Yeah, so I'm prevented from, from striking down this way. What I do is from here, I withdraw the front, front leg here as I raise and my intention is to cut straight down onto the head. So if you can imagine your partner's here with the sword wedged here and the head's just here, it's about that. And what I want to do is withdraw the front leg and strike down here. So this, is a, this, is a, this is a different movement than we're used to doing. What you do is draw back and then cut down. Draw back, cut down. What I'm not doing in this case is withdrawing the body. But what all I'm doing is pulling the leg back to come around the sword. Yeah, so just practice actually just this movement. Put down on the left side as you withdraw the body, 
the foot. Just as we're drawing the foot, find the rein and then cut down on the right side. This is a very quick, efficient movement. This, this. Very fast. This, this. Let's try that. There's a left side. Shifting the body to the right side. Um, Michael? Yeah. Um, the defender. Yeah. After um, cutting the left, is, is the left cut your community? Is this left cut after the first attack, right? And then the attacker is here, and then we go to the left. Is it your community cut or is it your community cut? The roll now. Okay. What are this, is this is straight. It's straight through, so I'm going to raise and cut. And this is your community cut? This is a showman. This Both of them are showman. I'm here, and then I raise up and cut through to the head. Okay, so, so, so they're all showman to cut. For the attack okay. All I'm looking to do is go straight down the center line. And okay. Down. So this, okay. Uh, this is, for the attacking role is all uh, showman work. Okay. I basically refine the line just straight, and then what I'm looking to do is with the people and deliver a shot. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. So once you've got a feel for it, just bring it into the whole set now. So you've got three cuts now, so you raise up on the back, cut straight down, raise, cut it on the left side, and then pulling back, cutting down on the right side. So three cuts. <clears throat> That's it, great. Okay, good. So we'll try and blend it together. What I want you to do is the defend, uh, the defending roll. So the roll which comes out to the side and finishes with the control. You do this roll. We do this really slow, and I do the attack roll. So <clears throat> in this case, we're just going to work. Just work with the very first blend. So we'll build it up. So the first blend from here, right side. You're going to bring the feet together. You breathe in. back and then blending off to the left side to the right side that's it good we'll just do three of each three each and blending up One more time. And okay, good. 
Okay, this time Bernie is going to do the attacking role. So I'm going to spotlight Bernie. <laughs> Go ahead. So just do three each and then we'll change. Uh, I can only see myself at the moment. Yeah, that's your pro. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, tricky. No, no, I can see all, or at least nine, including myself. <laughs> Oh, that's good. One more time. <gasps> Great. Okay, super. So we're gonna go. We'll go to the next step. So this time you're gonna do from the 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 defending role. You're gonna come up to the right side. And then thrust up to their head, and then we'll take it further. Just go to the head cut this way. So we'll do the first three moves. So you raise to the right side, right down. As I raise the sword, you're gonna thrust up, and then you decide this movement this way to the head. Yeah, we'll give it a try. So hopefully you can see me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So we'll do the first three moves. So starting in the right side, feet together. One more time. Good. Okay, three more times. Now you're going to go to the last movement. So I'm in this position, I'm going to withdraw and cut. So as I reach the raise, what I want you to do is shift the body in and finish with this control here. Yeah? Okay, we'll give it a try. Three times. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Oh. Hey. Oh. Okay, Bernie, you're going to do the attacks. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> <I'm trying. laughs> Spotlighted. You can see. Okay, cool. You're going to blend to Bernie. <laughs> Oh. 
hands. Is something frozen? Is it just my? Everyone. Or... Because was I, I could... <laughs> uh, yeah, there was yeah, Bernie was frozen at uh. a number of times. Sorry again. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> frozen. He was just moving without you being able to see. <laughs> yeah, was come along quite a long way. Touch connection. <laughs> Open up the door to get some better Wi-Fi. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, good. Good. Okay, we'll do one last round <clears throat> and just do the full thing. So <clears throat> this is done from a bow. So we're just gonna you're gonna start in this position together. You bow in and then you come into the kamai. We just take it real slow this way. Okay, so one last time. <clears throat> we'll do it real slow. You can really feel it. Okay. So start in this position. Good. That's the end. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much.